Hi, my name is Vibeke and welcome to Diving Ducks Crochet. So today I want to show you how to crochet this very, very beautiful uh, cowl or infinity scarf. And this is absolutely perfect for uh, watching TV while crocheting because it's just the same thing we are doing again and again and you don't have to think at all. So you can just sit, watch TV and let all these uh, colors work up all by itself. It is absolutely an amazing project. I will show you from the beginning to the end exactly how to do it. So just follow this tutorial and then you can make this scarf. So let's begin. First a little about the materials for the yarn. I only have this one left. I used up all the yarn, uh, but I will clip in a photo right here of the yarn. Um, this is cookie yarn. You can see the info someplace here. Uh, this is 100% acrylic and it recommends a 4.5 to 5 millimeter hook. I am doing triple crochet, so I'm using the smaller one, so the 4.5. And you can see the washing info down here. And I've used one entire cake for this scarf. And yes, I used a 4.5 millimeter hook and then some scissors. And finally, a tapestry needle to weave in the ends. We begin with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop. Then grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then we create a chain, sew yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through and you chain 230. So just keep chaining until you have 230 chains. So now let's pretend that I have 230 chains. I'll just make a little sample. So now you do like this and make sure it doesn't twist all the way to the end. And then you take the end, lead it all the way back to your hook and slip stitch in this very first uh, chain you did. So just insert the hook and then slip stitch in this first chain to make a little circle. Or yours will be a big circle because you have 230 chains. Now in this first uh, chain we will do a single crochet. So just single crochet in the first chain. Then in your next chain you double crochet, so yarn over and insert the hook in this next one. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two, yarn over, pull through, two. And then in the next chain, you triple crochet. So now you yarn over twice, then you insert the hook in the next chain, yarn over, pull through, one, yarn over, pull through, two, yarn over, pull through, two, and then yarn over, pull through the final two. That's a triple crochet. And then you continue with triple crochet all the way around. So in your next chain, you also triple crochet. So you yarn over twice, insert the hook in the next chain, and finish your triple crochet with pulling through two all the way to the end and then your next twice around the hook and then insert and triple crochet and continue like that all the way around until you are back here and when you finished all 230 stitches it will look like this so you will have this very long thread. And now it's very important that you make sure that it doesn't twitch, uh, twist. So you check that it doesn't twist all the way around. And you have this one in the other end. Mine was twisting a bit, so I just forced it around. So we have this little twist right here, but that's okay. 
Now we will connect the ends and we will now be working in rounds. So there's no way back if it does twist. So this ne next stitch, I will also do a triple crochet on the bottom right here. So just yarn over twice, insert the hook in this first chain and finish your triple crochet. And then work our way up this little ladder and still with triple crochet. I'll just do the, the entire ladder so you can see what I'm doing. All the way up to the top, and this yarn is also twisting. That's just a bit of a charm with it. So, one more. So now you see we worked up the, the ladder. So we have a little bit of a bump on the bottom of this uh, cowl, but this won't be noticeable. So now we will just be working in spirals. So just work um, with the triple crochet all the way around yet again. Just one triple crochet in every stitch all the way around. When you make it to the other round, you just continue. So we are working in spirals. And this is pretty easy from now on, because when you make it back here, you will just continue after this. Okay, so just continue around and around in spirals with one triple crochet in every stitch. When you're almost out of yarn, it's time to close up the project. And we close up the same way as we started it. So we have these triple crochet. Now we want to do a double crochet in the next one, just to make a little ladder, like in the beginning. Then a half double crochet in the next one. Then a single crochet. And then I will finish up with a slip stitch in the final stitch, just to get all the way down and we won't have this bump to finish it off with so it is kind of smooth then we will chain one pull the rest of the yarn through this loop and then finally we weave in the end so find your tapestry needle push in the needle and then weave in on the back side of the cowl And when you're done, you can just see these colors is just gorgeous. I've gotten so many comments for this cowl. It's absolutely amazing. I really like these colors. And I just used the entire cake and it ended up measuring... Uh, it is 33 centimeters wide and that is about 13 inches. I think that's inches. I don't know. I'm Danish. Sorry. But this is how it ended up and you can use it as a hood or an infinity scarf or a cowl. I don't know. It's very versatile and the colors is just amazing. So I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.